so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this very easy maxi dress it's like a sleeveless dress it has two layers and um so what i'm going to do is just to go ahead insert your shoulder measurement so first of all the width of this fabric is just my bust measurement divided by four plus one inch my bust that i'm working with is 42 divided by four is 10.5 plus extra one inch is 11.5 that is the width and then the length i have here is just the shoulder to waist i'm working with which is 17 divide and um, plus one inch is going to be 18 so 18 inches is what i have here so um it's almost 18 Point. so i'm going to reduce it because of this white thing here so but if i remove it now you see it's 18 inches on the dot because i'm going to be cutting this out so the next thing i'm going to do is just your shoulder to waist plus one the shoulder to waist i'm working with is 17 plus one is 18 so at this point here now i'm going to go ahead and insert my let me just mark this out so on this point here i'm going to go ahead and insert my shoulder measurement so the shoulder i'm working with is going to be 16 divided by 2 is 8 but i'm going to subtract one from it since this is a so since this is a sleeveless you're going to do your shoulder measurement divided by two remove one from it so instead of using eight as my normal shoulder when i attach a sleeve i'm going to just do seven or you can even do 6.5 if you want the shoulder to go in a little bit more so it depends on you how deep you want the sleeveless to be and then i'm also going to go ahead and insert my one uh, sorry insert my three inches of neckline here so and then after that i'm also going to come down here by one inch for my shoulder slope and then i'm going to connect it to this part here and then after that i'm going to come down here and insert my armhole which is going to be nine inches I, um, my armhole is 18 divided by 2 is 9 so that's how I got this here I'm going to insert it here connect this with a straight line down to this point sorry and then I'm going to give it a curve for my armhole here and then the next thing you'll have to do is just to insert your bust measurement which is already the width of the fabric in my own case so 10.5 plus 1 inch which is what I have here and then my waist measurement is I'm working with um, 34 divided by 4 is going to be 8.5 I added 2 inches to it so you add 1 inch to the bust and 2 inches to the waist these 2 inches is because of my seam allowance for the um, side and then also 1 inch for my darting because there's going to be a dart here so to make my dart I'm going to divide my nipple to nipple by 2 which is 4 and then I'm going to take it up here one inch before my my shoulder to my bust so my shoulder to bust is at 11 one inch before that is 12 so this is the length of my dart here i'm going to mark it all the way half an inch on each side and then connect it just like that so this is basically my dart and then i'm also going to connect my bust to my waist so this dart here will be transferred on the four layers the two sides of the back and the two sides of the front so i've notched it here but like we always say, the dart at the back is going to go up to the shoulder, I'm sorry, up to the chest line, which is somewhere here. So it's going to be just like this, half an inch on each side, and then this is going to be my dart at the back. So now that I've marked all this here, I'm also going to separate the back into two, and then we can be able to... So guys, for the neckline, you can give it a boat neck. Or you can just widen it by 3.5 instead of doing 3 inches on the dot. But I'm just going to work with the 3 inches. And then I'm going to come down here by 3 inches for the front neckline. Somewhere here. And then I'm going to come down 1 inch for the back neckline. Which is this here. This is my back. And then this one here is the front. And then this is the shoulder here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this whole thing out now. So guys, as you can see, I've cut this part out, cut this out, cut this out, and then the front neckline. So this is basically my body here. I'm going to set every other thing aside, and then we are going to talk about the body of this dress. So the body here, what I have here is just the, the because as you can see, this dress has three layers, right? One layer stops just before your knee, like maybe four inches before your knee or three inches before your knee it depends on how you want to do yours but i'm doing mine like four inches before my knee so my shoulder to the total length of my dress is going to be 56 my shoulder to my waist my shoulder to waist which is the body of this is 17 and then i want the first layer of this dress to be 
18 inches right so if i subtract this 17 from so so guys first i'm going to check for the shoulder to the waist which is this one the top bodice part like i said mine is 17 my total length of my dress here is 56 so i'm going to first subtract this 17 from this 56 what i got was 39 right this 39 is now going to be the length of the bottom of my flay right so this bottom of my flay will be split into two like i said the first layer of this flay is supposed to if you look at this picture here you will see that her own has the flay stops like the gather in this here is just above her knee like three inches or four inches above her knee so i'm going to make mine 18 inches for the first layer so i'm going to subtract 18 inches from this one here from this 39 so my my the second layer is going to be 21 inches so the first layer is 18 the second layer is um 21 like we always do for all the tear dress you need half an inch to join this top and the bottom so that means plus one inch for this 19 and then i need plus 1.5 added to this one to be able to fold the rough edge this whitish part and then one inch to fold this edge and then half an inch to join this so one inch to fold this lower bottom of the finishing of the dress half an inch to join this half an inch to this part so that means 1.5 added to the lowest layer so in total the lowest layer length is going to be 22.5 and then this one added one inch alone because i don't need to fold the edge i just need half an inch here and half an inch here so that's why i only added one inch here so i have 19 here so the length i'm working with is 19 the length i'm working with here is 22.5 so after that you're going to determine the gather you're working with so the gather i'm working with the first gather is going to be just round my waist gather which is 35 that we are working with so i'm doing times two of 35 that is the um width i have for this so my sorry the waist i'm working with is 34 i'm doing times two of that for the first layer of my gather which is this and that's what i have here and then the second layer i'm doing the length i'm doing whatever you get from that i'm doing times 1.5 of that right after you multiply your waist by two to get that first layer whatever you get from that for the second layer you're going to times it by 1.5 or if you still have enough fabric times it by two so that's how you're going to determine the width for this here so i basically cut out mine so all i have to do is just to join these two together together finish up my body of my dress like join the two shoulders finish up the neckline with bias if you want you can use lining but i'm going to use bias for mine and then i'm going to also pick my dart finish the armhole with um bias also close up the side and then we'll come back and join the two together see i've gone ahead and joined mine picked my dart for the back you can see what it looks like here this is the front here so i also used bias to finish it guys um i also picked the dart in front this is the inside of it so i didn't use lining but if, if you want you can use lining for yours so that's basically what it looks like i just used the basic dart basic waist dart for this hair i also went in and cut off a little bit more from the shoulder because i want it to go into the shoulder some more so that's it for the bottom part the top and then this is the bottom we are working with as you can see i've gathered the lower parts attached it to this here so you see this part here i didn't get that it is just the one attaching to it that i just pleated all the way to the end and this is the only opening here which is going to go to the center back meaning the side with this fold is going to be my center front also guys for the this one here is going to be attached together to this here but this split is going to go to the back but it's going to be attached here to the lower part of this dress also i like to remove after picking my dad some people do this before picking their dad but i find it easier to do it this way so once i finish everything i've ironed it all i have to do is just to go back in here and then i'm going to go up here by one inch i like to go up here by one inch just to reduce the back length so that it my zip can lay better so you see this is my side seam so i just blend it into my side seam from that one inch i just like to blend it in it makes the back of my dress look better and the flay like so my zip doesn't bulk up and then my flay doesn't drop at the back so it starts right on my waist because sometimes you make it and you find that when you turn around it's like the back of the flay is dropping it doesn't really look nice so to bring up that gather to be right where my waist is 
at the back i like to cut off one inch but i blend it down going towards the side so like an angle i'm going to cut this part off now and then go directly and attach this to the body of the dress put in my zip and that will be it for the um dress this is the dress here so i used about three and a half yards for this here so this is what it looks like it's done and I also had some fabric left over, so I decided to add like a, a belt to the waist. You can tie it, you can remove it if you want to. So this is the top part, this is the back. So that's basically it here. And the, as you can see, this fabric is very strong, so that's why I didn't use lining for it. Thank you guys so much for your time today, and um, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.